When I was a junior in high school, I had a weird art teacher named Ms. Davis. Ms. Davis was an older lady who was way too soft-spoken and always had trouble keeping the class under control. In fact, keeping the class under control is what she spent most of class time trying to do. I didn't do well in that class, but then again, I never did well in most of my art classes. I think it was a combination of laziness, not having enough competition, whatever that means, and thinking I was too good to do the work. I remember one day in Ms. Davis' class when I made a comment about a poster on the wall. It was of a Willem de Kooning painting called Woman 5. I said something to the effect of, that's garbage, what the hell, I could do better than that. Ms. Davis was visibly shaken by my words, and she replied, I bet you couldn't. I didn't really know how to respond to that, so I didn't say anything in response. I just looked at the poster. If you've never seen the painting, I left a link to it in the video notes. That incident happened just about a decade ago, and I'll think about it every once in a while. I'll also think about every time I half-assed an assignment or just slipped by doing average work because I was decent at drawing people and I always capitalized on that. I've been struggling with the idea of voice and style. I keep asking myself if I have a style, or if it's important, and how I would even figure out if I already have one. I think this is something that all creative people struggle with. These days, I have a different relationship with abstract art. I'm still not a de Kooning fan, but the best compliment I can give the guy is that it seems he was consistent in his style, or his voice. At least it seems that way. I can admire any artist whose work you can see or hear and you know it's from them. When you spend a lot of time looking at art, drips and streaks and splashes will remind you of time periods, groups of people, and historical events. The other reason I admire de Kooning and other abstract artists is because it's a very vulnerable way to work. They create things straight from their brain and reject a lot of conventions and rules that have been established. Sometimes I think this is incredibly brave and sometimes I think it's ridiculous and arrogant. When a person makes something according to their own rules and exposes it to the world, I think they leave themselves open for more criticism than someone who followed conventions or made work that was more recognizable. If you drew something in someone else's style, and replicated that style pretty well, and someone said that that drawing was shit, would you be as upset as you would be if you drew something your way and someone said it was shit? I imagine abstract artists have to deal with the latter every time someone walks by their art and say, I could do that. I realize I'm giving abstract artists the benefit of the doubt. There are a lot of artists who are classically trained in rendering life in realistic ways, get really good at it, and then decide to start again from the beginning and do things their way, which could be much less understandable and uncomfortable for the viewer. I think that's pretty impressive. I've been messing around with the idea of following my own rules and experimenting to see if I can recognize my own style. A part of me thinks that I already have a style, but I just can't see it because I spend so much time around my own work. With this drawing, I wanted to draw it deliberately, as if there were no rules except the ones I chose. I could do whatever I want. I wanted to draw as if no one else would see it. I went from thinking the drawing was stupid, to thinking it was kind of weird and interesting, to thinking it was stupid again. I even thought about making a separate YouTube account where I could post a bunch of my weird abstract drawings under a pen name. I stopped myself cold and realized that I was trying to protect my ego. Some part of me was afraid of getting my inbox flooded with messages telling me my drawing was shit. But if I made a bunch of weird drawings under a pen name, I would be disassociating myself from what I made and I could sort of fall back and say, Hey, well, you know, I didn't care that much about it anyway. Just the fact that I spent about 15 minutes debating whether or not to hide my identity made me wonder how strange it must be to be an abstract or experimental artist all the time. There are a lot of abstract artists whose work I really respect and enjoy. Basquiat and Picasso to name a few. I'll leave more links in the video description. I still don't like that de Kooning painting, but if I had a chance to talk to my high school self, I'd tell him that he was missing the point entirely, and that his opinion wouldn't be valid until he stopped being lazy, and focused more on working hard and appreciating other people who worked hard, even if he didn't like their stuff. In conclusion, I think it's safe to say that you could probably draw this, and I'm okay with that.